But there's our A380 about the board. Let's go do this. You ain't got enough of this fever, I know, I know. Nothing would remain and you don't wanna go, so go. Cause you're thinking your pace, no time to waste. I wanna love you, but life doesn't wait. You can stay here and waste away. You need to taste every mistake, fall out and get up again and again. Again and again and again. And Hi, I am Zachary Burable. That is Miles Monkey, and we are Monkey Miles. So, if you guys are first timers watching this, you just saw a little preview of Lufthansa First Class on the A380, which we're going to get into with a full review. But just to introduce ourselves, what we do here with Monkey Miles, and what I do on the website, just personally, uh, we break down points and miles that you can take these insane flights to amazing hotels either utilizing point transfers or you buy points or you just get a fantastic deal. So like we're not opposed to paying for flights, but we just like to get the best possible deal. So we're not throwing, you know, crazy amounts of money to fly in Lufthansa first class. It's like a ten, fifteen thousand dollar flight you're watching. So I wanted to break down how exactly we did it so that you're most well informed so you could replicate it in your own life. So we searched for this using United Miles. We were in a little bit of a time crunch because if you watch some of the other videos from this series, you'll know that we were supposed to go to India and I forgot to get our visas. Oops. And we had to do a last minute pivot that took us to Paris. I then needed to find us a way to get home from Paris, which as luck would have it, when I was searching on United, I found us two first class flights on Lufthansa, on the A380 that would route us through Munich direct into Los Angeles. That is a really difficult, <clears throat> excuse me, routing to get. Either Frankfurt or Munich to either San Francisco or Los Angeles are the most difficult possible flights you can get on, on, uh, on Lufthansa, specifically in first class. You can find business, but those long hauls, where you get half a day in first or business are really, really difficult. So we got very fortunate booking these. We went on to, to united.com. Another excellent resource would be Expert Flyer. Those two is how you can do the largest gathering of information uh, when you're looking to book Star Alliance. Once we found it, we then had to sort of analyze what our options were going to be to book. So utilizing Chase Ultimate Rewards, which we had a nice cash of, and using Amex were our two primary uh, credit card points that we were looking to redeem. Had we gone with um, Chase, we could have redeemed with United, but it's 110,000 miles each direction. You don't have to pay the taxes and fees, or at least not in as heavy a portion as you do when you use other programs, but 110,000 miles is a lot. Singapore is another transfer partner, but that's 107.5, so that's a lot as well. Versus if you look over at Amex, you could transfer into Avianca, which would be 87. You avoid a considerable amount of the taxes and fees there as well. Or you could do it with Aeroplan, but you're going to get hit with some taxes and fees, but it's the cheapest at 70,000. Now, we actually had some Avianca life miles. The problem was, and you'll see this if you start searching or you have been searching with Avianca, is that they don't always populate the same amount of inventory that you'll see on United. So when we did that, that's what we actually encountered. They were only showing one ticket and we needed two. So rather than try and wait for their manual ticketing office to process it, which you can access via email, we decided Let's just utilize Aeroplan. Let's do an instant transfer. The taxes and fees weren't really that bad at 320 bucks. And in all honesty, I mean, 320 bucks to fly first class is pretty stinking good in my opinion. So we did an instant transfer from Amex over to Aeroplan that was processed instantaneously. We then took the record locator from there. We went over to Lufthansa and we picked our seats. And that's how we ended up in 2D and G. At the time of booking, I think there was only like maybe two, maybe three other people in the cabin. There's eight total. So one, two, one across two rows. Um, and if you're, I think the second row is the best because you don't have as many people uh, walking past you to the bathroom. And for a couple sitting in 2D and 2G, you're sort of looking at the entire cabin. It's a really cool experience. So we ended up booking it out of Paris because that's where we needed to uh, originate from. 
It went through Munich. We were lucky enough to do the remote stand so like they didn't pull up to the airport. We actually had to disembark the plane onto the tarmac. Then there was that guy sitting there with the sign. It's an amazing feature of Lufthansa. It's pretty much the only time I love to be at the remote stand because uh, you get to hop in like a chauffeured car and drive around the tarmac, which is really cool. And they took us right to the lounge. We went right upstairs. They processed all of our visas. Uh, while we were in the lounge getting some food. So when we were ready to go, we actually exit the lounge and immediately to the right, there was the immigration officer who just gave us our passports back and we flew through to the gate and uh, hopped on the A380 and it was phenomenal. I think we were the first people to board the plane and you'll get to see the, the whole rest of the review, but that's how we did it. That's what we do here. So just so you guys understand the breakdown and just get right back into it, hit that like button Subscribe if you want more you know, tips and tricks and deals and the works. Uh, this is what we do. So enjoy Lufthansa First Class on the A380. Ah! Don't you know what happens to dreams you don't follow? They crumble. You know I can say what you're getting so... So in your satellite, in your Lufthansa First, you get picked up and driven to the terminal. So this is really fun. <laughs> wow, Picking your place, no time to waste. I want to love you, but life does a way. You can stay here and waste away. You need to taste every mistake. Fall out and get up again and again. Again and again and again and again. Cigar lounge back here. I mean, it is. There she is. This right here actually 
that goes up as well. But obviously, we want this open, but it creates like just a nice open like environment here. It's, and the seats are super soft and super comfy. These armrests, when it goes down, they all lower as well. But I think this is a really, a really well designed cabin. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Lufthansa redesigns their first class because they've released a new business class. I don't believe that we've seen any sneak preview of their new first class. We're going to have to look at the new first class, but this is, I think, the best, arguably the best way to fly across the Atlantic. I think uh, Air France first class is amazing, but it's super, super hard to get with points, so this is really nice. And then I'll show you guys a little bit about the storage that so you can see here. Your headphones plug in. Just another little storage container, and that's nice because you can put your wallet. Um, I've got all my camera equipment, and I think that this, that little cup holder, is so smart because when you're sleeping, that's where you put your water. So it's super. It's just right. It's like a bedside table. It's just right there. I mean, it's just it's German engineering, right? It's just so refined and meticulous. I think the cabin, the color palette of the cabin is really understated. All the colors are muted. And then if you can see where Miles is, every seat has a red rose. Let's take a look at the seating controls because I think they do a really, a really fine job at allowing you to control the ottoman where I put my backpack and you can control like the headrest goes up and down. I'll show you a little uh, a peek of them, but every single part of the, of the seat articulates, and the ottoman is especially convenient because a lot of times you don't want to be all the way down, but like it's always too far away. And this is just, it's so nice because it just moves in and out. I'll, I'll show you. And how nice is that? Salmon tartare for an Angus bush. I mean, let's get ready to rumble. Again, Lufthansa does not disappoint. The A380 was a pretty special experience. Although, I have to say, I did it on the 747-8 in the nose, and I think that's probably the coolest flight, but having that big, spacious, airy cabin, it's pretty awesome. Uh, excited to see what Lufthansa does for their next first class. Don't know what that's gonna exactly be, but their new business looks amazing, although I think we may not see it till 2021, but anyways. Dope flight. Flip it around. There it is. 
One of the coolest things about Lathansa first is they just pull all of your bags aside. When you're in first, they just stick in the trolley for you. So we didn't have to like wait to get our bags or any of that stuff. It was just like there.